Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to start a new topic, which is on amplifier. For this video, for a start, I want to do a very quick comparison between the three different device classes of amplifier. Namely, we have class A, class B, and also class C. This video, I'm going to do a quick comparison, explain the key difference between these three different classes of amplifier. This will be the part one series discussion on amplifier. If you're keen to know more about amplifier, please take a look on the playlist under the description. From time to time, I will do an update. I will post more video, more discussion on amplifier. So please take a look on the playlist under the description so that you have a better idea on amplifier. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, thank you so much for your strong support. Let's start okay, by understand the definition of amplifier. Okay, an electrical or electronics amplifier is a circuit that uses an external power supply to generate an output signal. Typically, the output signal will be a time vary either the voltage or current okay, that is larger replicate of its input in terms of the magnitude of the amplitude. Okay, so in short, okay, typically amplifier, they actually use this external power supply to amplify the signal from the input to the output. Typically, output will look exactly the same as the input except that the amplitude okay, is amplified many, many times bigger as compared to the input. The rest, like all the frequency, they remain in that. Typically, only the amplitude change. So this is a very simple and easy definition of amplifier. Let me give you an example where amplifier can be used. Okay, for example, I guess this should not be new to you guys. Audio amplifier. Typically, audio amplifier is used to increase the volume of a speaker voice. Okay, so this actually amplify the speaker volume so that we are able to hear it more easily in a larger area. Okay, like what I mentioned, I guess you can visualize this simple example. So this is one of the application of amplifier. To be more specific, is on an audio amplifier. So the amplifier actually pulls up the input signal which is from the speaker to a output form that is exactly the same as the input except the amplitude which is many many times larger as compared to the input signal so therefore we are able to hear it clearly and easily in a larger area the amount of amplification provided by an amplifier is measured by its gain okay so how big how small Typically, we use the gain to define the amount of amplifier. Okay, so this gain is actually the ratio of either the output voltage over the input voltage or output current over the input current or output power over the input power. So this is what it means. So in short, the gain is basically the output over the input, whether it's it voltage, current or power. An amplifier is defined as a circuit that has a power gain greater than one. Okay, so if you have less than one, okay, which means that your signal somehow antennate, which means that the signal becomes smaller. So in order to be amplified, which means that they must be at least larger than one. Okay, so one typically means that the input and output remain the same. So any form like 1.1, which means that they actually increase by 0.1. So basically, this is what we define as amplifier. Okay, in a circuit diagram, an amplifier is usually represented by a triangular. Okay, so you can see that this is basically a triangular. So basically, we call this as an amplifier. For example, we have the voltage. Okay, we have this voltage at the output. We have this voltage at the input. 
So how much amplified will be V out over V in KSE last week over here? So this will be so-called the gain. How much will be the amplification? A typical amplifier system usually consists of several stages of amplifier cascade together to achieve the desired gain. Okay, so remember I told you that basically for the role of an amplifier is to increase the gain. But typically, maybe let's say one stage is not sufficient. We actually have several stages of them added together so that we are able to achieve the desired gain. Okay, let's take comms for example. Okay, when the signal actually received from the antenna, they are typically very, very small. As you can imagine that this signal has been traveling, for example, can be in terms of kilometer away. So the signal will be very, very weak or very, very small. And hence, the first thing that we want to do is we want to boost the signal large enough so that we are able to hear the voice, for example. So we need to cascade several stages of amplifier so as to achieve the desired gain. The initial gain, okay, typically they usually use very small signal amplifier okay, because in the initial, big, like what I mentioned, the signal is still very small. Okay, we cannot use power amplifier as power amplifier is non-linear. Okay, so later on, you will understand that non-linear actually add in a lot of noise, a lot of unable to predict so-called outcome. So therefore, typically for a very small signal, we actually want to start off by so-called using a very low noise amplifier or we call a driver stage. Basically, they are used to handle for amplifier or signal that are typically very small for a start. As you can see from here, the signal can be very weak. So after they go through this so-called driver stage, okay, basically they will boost up the signal okay, large enough. After that, they actually went through this power stage to drive the signal even larger. So this is what I mean. The final stage is normally required to provide certain power level to a target load and is usually a power amplifier. So over here, you can see that we basically cascade okay, a few amplifier. Okay, we can have more than one so-called driver stage here. Basically, over here, like what I mentioned, they, they basically take care of very weak signal. Okay, they boost them enough. Okay, and the further boosting of the gain will be done by the power amplifier. Okay, on the next few slides here, we are going to take a look on the three different classes of amplifier. In short, we have class A, class B, and class C. On the next few slides, okay, we are going to understand the three different classes of amplifier. We will be able to quickly discuss what are they actually target for, for example, on the application. Okay, like I mentioned earlier on, basically for amplifier, we have either the linear or non-linear. For linear amplifier, okay, they may not be able to offer a very high efficient, okay, which means that the power, I can jerk it up very high instantly. Typically, it's a linear effect. So this linear amplifier typically are for the driver stage. As for the power stage, basically, most of the time, we will use non-linear amplifier. Okay, typically, the efficiency is normally higher because uh, if you compare input and output, okay, the output can be many, many times as compared to the input. But for linear amplifier, typically, is comparison maybe two times, maybe three times, okay, but not many, many times as compared from the output to the input. So basically, this is a quick comparison. Okay, maybe the next few video, I will do a very quick discussion to explain the key difference between linear amplifier and also non-linear amplifier. Okay, the efficient is defined as the ratio of the RF output power, okay, which means that the output power okay, to the collector circuit DC input power. So in short, this will be the output, this will be the input. Okay, basically, we will use the power okay, at the output versus the collector circuit at the transistor, for example. Okay, let's go through the three different classes of amplifier. Okay, so let's start off by doing the class A. Okay, I will personally do more discussion on this class A, B, and C. But at this moment, let me quickly let you have some understanding on these three different device classes of amplifier. 
Okay, so class A is defined as an amplifier that is biased so that output current flow at all time. Okay, which means that okay, we are continuous supplying okay, the input power or input current all the times. Okay, the input signal is kept small to prevent driving the transistor into cutoff. Okay, so the input signal, we want it to be very small because we do not want to afford to drive the transistor okay, into a saturation region. Okay, which means that we keep the signal as small as possible. The conduction angle of the transistor is 360 degree, meaning that the transistor conducted for the full cycle of the input signal. Okay, so I like what I mentioned, I will use more video to discuss. Okay, this will be the most lenient. So among this class A, class B, and class D, class A will be the most lenient. However, they also has the low efficiency. Okay, typically they can be less than 50 percent. Okay, because okay, the power okay, basically flow all the time. Next on class B, okay, the conduction angle for the transistor is about 180 degree. Okay, which means that typically it's only half the time. Okay, thus the transistor conducts only half the time. Okay, like what I mentioned earlier, because it's 180 degree, either one of the phase, okay, which means that half of the time they will be on, half the time they will be off. Okay, either on the positive or negative half cycle of the input signal. Okay, so this is what I mean. Okay, either the positive or the negative they will be on, either one. Okay, they are less linear. Okay, and harmonics are generated at the output. Okay, we need to use filter to filter away all those harmonics. Okay, the efficient can be as high as 70%. Okay, remember class A only has 50%. So class B typically has a better efficiency as compared to class A. Last but not least, let's quickly go through the class C. Conduction angle is significantly less than 180 degree, which means that not even half the time is on. Okay, the transistor is biased such that under steady state condition, no collector current flow. Okay, the transistor either and cut off. Okay, which means that when they are not doing anything, the power is actually cut off. The linearity is poor. However, the efficiency can be as high as 85%. So class D has the highest efficiency as compared to the rest while class a has the best linearity in order to bias a transistor for class c operation it is necessary to reverse bias the base emitter junction okay external biasing is usually not needed okay so basically this will be class c okay so over this video you can see that i do a very quick comparison between class A, class B, and class C amplifier. The next few series, I will jump in more detail. For example, I may jump into one video purely on class A, one video on class B, and also another video on class C. I will also do a very quick comparison between so-called linear amplifier and non-linear amplifier, when we are going to use linear or when we are going to use non-linear. So with this, I would like to end my discussion. Please sub to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.